So during my testing of a lot of these systems back in the past, like this is one of the things that I've talked about as kind of one of the most like exciting features that I can't wait till they start implementing is the ability for these large language models. I mean, like for example, Claude Opus is, and, and the other models as well within the Claude family are very good at coding. With the artifacts window, they're able to kind of like create it in this sort of uh, window that you're able to interact with it. But if you wanted to download it, run it on your computer and make changes to it, et cetera, you know, you had to do that manually. You had to do that yourself. So these models could not, for example, generate some code, then run, like let's say if they made you a little snake game, then they, they could not like run that snake game, take a look to make sure that everything is working well. They can troubleshoot a little bit here and there by looking at the code, but they couldn't actually troubleshoot the actual outputs and, and look at it and see what's wrong and uh, what's working, what's not working. And this finally bridges that gap. Now, again, I don't expect this to be, you know, 100% amazing from the get-go from day one. It's probably going to have errors. It's probably going to have mistakes. But just like everything else within AI, it's going to keep improving, keep getting better. And so we just got very close to where these large language models are the operating system. You no longer have to interact with the buttons and click on stuff. You tell Claude what to do. It's funny how it actually went into Claude.ai, the website. It, it talked to itself like, hey, can you write this code? Then computer use took that code out, put it into VS Code, which is like kind of like the development platform, kind of the development environment. And then it was able to go into the terminal where you actually put the commands to start the local server so you can actually see it in your browser locally. This is kind of a big deal because like he said, at some point it's going to be able to do this end to end. And with its ability to do this stuff, it can also start troubleshooting the actual results. So if you're making a game, again, it can look at the actual game and see, okay, this is not working. This is not working and go in to connect to that to the code and try to change the code to make it work. Again, this seems like a big deal, even if it's not perfect on day one. If it keeps improving, if you just allow for any rate improvement over time, you know, expect to see a lot of capabilities unlocked with, with this. This, this was like the final piece vision plus being able to use the computer, you know, plus the coding, plus it's reasoning all combined together. It seems like all the pieces are in place.